Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about Spring's dependency injection concept. So before we get started with coding, this video will provide you a high level overview on dependency injection. And as we go further with this course, we're going to learn a lot of things about dependency injection, but let's first get started. Okay, let's first understand what is dependency injection. It's not a very a high level concept this is a very simple concept and let's make it more simple uh, by by some pictures by some animations and by a presentation so let's get started and let's understand the story the concept of dependence injection in a broad way okay so to make you understand this first you forget about java okay think think very simply think about this guy okay so this guy is so happy let's say uh, this guy is me okay so i'm so happy so why i'm so happy uh, because all my dependencies are fulfilled so what could be a dependency dependency is something that i depend upon if that's that's fulfilled if that dependency is satisfied then i'm happy right so let's say this guy has some dependency and the first dependency that i do have is my family if they are happy, I'm happy. Obviously, my family is my dependency. If I want to be happy, if I want to sustain in this world without any worries, then make sure that my family is happy, right? Just like you. All right, so my family is one of the dependency that I do have, okay? So the next dependency to be happy, <laughs> so I should have is my job, okay? So if I have a job, then I'll have some food, right? Obviously, if I have a job, I'll get some money. From that money, I'll get some food and I'll have this food, then I'll be alive. Then I can make some free videos for you guys and can help you to understand dependence injection in a simpler way, right? <laughs> so uh, my job is one of the dependency that I do have, okay? Because my job provides me money, okay? Okay, now just think, okay, I have a job, I got some money, right? then I can purchase a bike or a car, right? But even if I do have a car, even if I do have a bike, I cannot drive. Why I cannot drive? Because if I don't have this, I cannot at all drive, okay? Otherwise, the cops, they're going to catch me and they're going to put me in the jail, right? So to, to drive a bike or to drive a car, I need to make sure that I should have the driving license and that is one of the dependency that I do have because you know what to drive a bike to drive a car I need this driving license right okay so now I do have a driving license okay but I cannot go to my hometown by driving a car my hometown is so far from here the place I'm staying so I need to fly I need to catch a flight and to go by a flight I need my passport Okay, so if I want to go to my hometown, I need to make sure that I should have my passport ready, right? And this passport is one of the dependency that I do have, right? Because to fly, I need a passport, right? And just like that, I should have my PAN card, I should have my Aadhaar card, I should have my election ID card, I should have my all government ID ready to, to avail the features, the, the facilities that my government is providing. And to prove that I am a citizen of India, I need all these cars with me, right? So these cars are also few of the dependency that I do have. So these all are my dependencies, right? I depend upon all these things, right? Okay, so now we got some understanding about dependencies, right? Dependencies is something that I depend upon, right? And on top of all these things, I should have something to sustain here, okay? Uh, okay, so don't think very logically, but you know, just think about, I should have a name, right? Obviously, if I have a name, you can tell me, hey, Avilash, hey, do this, hey, do that, okay? Do this work for me, you can call me by my name, right? So I should have a name, right? Obviously, I should have a name. <laughs> so my name is also one of my dependencies right if i'm here in this world i should have a name right i'm a human object right so uh and the next thing i should have is my home number i should i should stay somewhere 
right? I should remember that, okay, this is the place that I'm staying, right? So this is the home that I'm staying here and this is the number of this home, right? So I should remember the name of the home, the number of the home, right? So my home number is also one of the dependency because that's the place, that's where I stay and I should remember that, right? So let's go with this right now. I'm not going to bore you anymore, okay? Just think like this all other dependency that I do have if I want to live happily, if I, if I want to sustain in this world, then I should have all these things ready. So these all are my dependencies, right? So you almost got what dependency in Jackson means. Now let's go to the next slide and let's talk about Java for a bit. Now come back to Java, right? I'm not going to tell you any more story over here. And now you just think about Java, okay? In Java, when we talk about uh, you know whatever we talk about in Java they all are objects right so where from the objects are coming from the objects are coming from classes right so now let's treat this guy this this uh, you know this this happy looking guy uh, to uh, let, let me convert this guy to a class right so this is me right so let me convert this guy to a class called class me okay all right so like that this is my family right so let me convert this picture to the java class let me say class family right and similarly i do have my job here right so let's treat my job as a class so let's say class job and obviously these all are what these all are simply numbers right if somebody calls you uh, he'll ask you hey what is your driving license number hey what is your passport number what is your pan number so all these things are numbers right so let me simply say this driving license is a number this passport is a number, this uh, PAN card is a number, some bunch of important numbers, right? And how to represent a group of numbers in Java? If I want to represent a group of numbers, a group of entity in Java, then I need to take the use of, I mean, I need to use the collection, right? I need to, I can use collection to store a group of entity, a group of numbers, right? So in this case, let me use a collection called array list to store all my important numbers right so let's say i have a bunch of important numbers and i'm storing it using a array list and i made it type step by by making its generic type as integer because i know that whatever the numbers that i'm going to put here with this list this is going to be of integer type these are some bunch of numbers only so i made it of integer type right so that's it so whatever we have seen in the last slide now i have converted everything um, I mean something which looks familiar to you because it's all in Java right now. Okay, so now I got this thing na name and home number. Okay, so how can I store a name in Java? So if I want to store a name, a string in Java, then definitely I need to store the name, the store the string with the data type called string, right? So string is a class in Java. So I can, I can write string name, right? because the name I want to store it with string data type, right? And similarly, if I want to store my home number, then I need to store my home number, which is a number, and I want to store a number in the data type called int, right? So I'll write int home number, simple, right? So right now I have converted this name and home number, I want to store it. So I have stored it with string and int. So this work is done, let me remove it. All right, so this looks good right now. Now let me uh, have some space here. Let me increase the space for a bit. Okay, uh, this looks good. All right. Okay, so now let's say this. Okay, so I, I told you, right? This is me. This is my, this is me. I just, just remember that picture, right? I have a dependency uh, and my one of my dependencies is my family, right? So if I want to be happy, if I want to be uh, sustained in this world, then I'm depend on my family. That means inside my class, I should have the, family object i should have my family object i should write family f equal to new family right but if you look at the previous two variables that i have declared here i haven't initialized them right so similarly i'm not going to initialize it i'm going to initialize it later so the new family part i'm going to remove it and i'm going to put a semicolon all right so this stuff i i just move it to here so this work is done so let me remove it all right, so that's gone. Okay, similarly, I told you 
if I want to sustain in this world, then I need a job, right? So I do have a class called job here. That's what I'm depends on. So let me move this job to here. So let me say, uh, you know, job j equal to new job. And you know what? I'm not initializing anything over here as you are saying. So let me, uh, you know, let, let me not initialize this particular part. So let me remove it and put a semicolon over here, right? So this job, I brought it to over here and I'm going to remove this one over here because this work is done. I'm, I have already moved it to my class, right? Okay, so one more thing is remaining, array list uh, of important numbers, right? So that's the bunch of important numbers that I depends on and this is also one of my dependency. So I'm going to move it inside the class and now that thing is also gone. So these are some bunch of variables that I do have. This variable is of string type, this variable is of int type, this f is of family type. So this family is a class. Similarly, this j is a job type, job is a class and this important number is also a class type array list but we can say this is a type of collection, right? So array list is a collection. So we understood that this bunch of variables are what? Okay, this is now, this is the thing that I'm going to concentrate on. This bunch of variables that you are looking at right now, these things are called as dependencies, right? So my class has this number of dependencies right now. If you want to make a object of mine, make sure all these things, all these properties are fulfilled all these properties values are inserted my my i should have a name i should have a home number i should have a family object created i should have a job object created i should insert all my important numbers i should create a array list object i need to do important numbers that add passport number whatever okay i need to initialize these things all right so what i actually talking about is you know, if you look at this right now, you can, you can, you know, feel better, right? I'm talking about this initialization. You can see the name has a value called Avilash. The home number has a value called 12345. The family has been initialized. I got create an object, new family. I'm assigning this object to F. And similarly, new job, I'm assigning it to J. And, uh, you know, I have uh, created a new array list object. And using this reference variable, important numbers, I'm adding a bunch of important numbers here. Let's say this is my PAN number, this is my election ID number. Okay, so I'm initializing it, right? But actually, what I'm doing over here is I'm actually hard coding the values. So we don't need to hard code the values. We don't need to initialize these particular objects, okay? We just need to let it go. So we are going to tell somebody else and he is going to initialize, he is going to insert he is going to inject all these values to his respective dependencies. So what I mean by that is, I told you that this name is a dependency, home number is a dependency, F is a dependency, J is a dependencies, and we are not going to initialize it just like this that I did in the slide. I don't need to do this kind of thing. I don't need to hard code this. No hard coding is required. Rather, I'm going to tell all these values to somebody, to one of your best friend. His name is Spring. I need to tell him that. And after that, I don't need to hard code the value. And the Spring is going to inject all these particular values to its respective dependencies, right? So no hard coding required. And Spring is going to inject all the dependencies to the respective, I mean, to, to the respective dependencies, it's going to inject all these particular values, right? So let's make it more clear right now, okay? So the dependency injection simply means injecting the dependencies, right? We have our dependency, we and we should have some values for our dependency. Those value we are going to inject to the dependency and we are going to do it by using Spring. And how Spring is going to do it? We are going to learn it today in this video, okay? But before that, let's make it more clear, okay? So this is how our class should be. It should have a name variable, home number variable, a f variable, a j variable, a important number variable as per our requirement because these are the thing that I depends on, right? So the name should have some values like avilash12345 should be my home number, my I should create a new family object, I should create a new job object and I should create a new array list object and I need to insert few values, I mean few important numbers to my IMP numbers 
uh, list right I mean this this is my reference variable I need to insert the values to this particular reference all right but these things we are not going to do it the spring is going to do it for us and he is going to inject all these values that's what I was talking about from the last two slide right so this is what we call the dependence injection so this part we don't need to write right we are going to set it off somewhere else we are going to tell spring that okay spring I want to insert the value of Hilash for the field called name I want to insert the value one two three four five to the field called home number I need to insert the new family object to the to the dependency called f okay or to the properties called f I want to insert the new job object to the properties called j or the or the dependency called j you, you got my point so this thing spring is going to do you are not going to write this code you are not going to hard code it just like putting the equal sign over here inside the same class right so no hard coding required my buddy and all this initialization stuff are going to be taken care by spring framework and spring is going to inject the dependencies these are the dependencies and spring is going to inject this particular values that's what we are going to learn it and how spring is going to do it that is by using a setter injection or by using a constructor injection so these are the two concepts that I'm going to cover here in this tutorial I'm not going to bore you more let's go to the Eclipse and let's start coding right now all right guys so before I go ahead and before I start coding here I want to you know uh, you know stay over here for a couple of minutes and I want you to figure out whatever the things that we have discussed over here whatever the variables that we have over here and whatever the dependencies or whatever the properties that we have over here what kind of properties they are so for an example this name is of string type this home number is of int type and I told you one thing all these properties are, are over here they all are called dependencies right and these two kind of dependencies what type of dependency they are so in Java we called this kind of dependency as literals right so this name is of string type this home number is of int type so these are kind of literal values so we call it dependencies in form of literals right and what about this this f is a family type and family is a class you remember and this this j is of job type and job is a class you remember right you remember the diagram uh, i mean you, that you have seen a couple of slides before you just remember that we had a class called family right we had a class called job so these are are also dependency but this this these are class type this f is class type right this j is of class type or this j is of job type so we call this type of dependencies dependencies in form of objective so we call this f type of dependency is kind of objective type right because this is a this belongs to a class called family right and what about this so if you look at this kind of dependencies this important number is of array list type obviously array list is a class but it is a collection class right so this kind of dependencies are called as dependencies in form of collections right so dependencies could be in form of literals in form of objectives or in form of collections but today in this tutorial we are only going to concentrate on the dependencies are which are in form of literals right we are talking about this kind of dependencies right now we are going to see that how we are going to inject the value of name how we are going to inject the value of home number by using the setter injection and constructor injection by using spring framework all right that's it now let's go to eclipse i'm not going to bore you anymore let's go for eclipse right now 